Texas senators have filed a bill possibly raising the tobacco age restriction from 18 to 21 across the state. CBS 4 Sandra Garcia joins us in the studio with more on how that change might affect smoking habits. Sandra. If that bill were to pass, restrictions would be similar to the ones you have when you buy alcohol, and it could decrease the number of young people addicted to tobacco. It's an expensive habit. In Texas, you only have to be 18 to buy tobacco-based products. With an 18 to 21, like I said, once they become addicted, that more than likely they're going to become adult smokers. But that could all change if Senate Bill 21 is passed. Anything that will help uh, uh, maturity to decide on whether they should smoke or not, I think is, is a good thing. Under that bill, nine supporting state senators hope to raise the state's tobacco smoking age to 21, restricting the purchase of cigarettes, e-cigarettes, and jewels. 28,000 people a year die just in Texas due to smoking-related uh, diseases. Cameron and Willacy County's Tobacco Coalition says increasing the age requirement might just lower the risk of addiction in young people. Our brain doesn't stop developing until 25 years of age. Um, you know, youngsters actually start getting addicted easily at a very young age. Board says that trying to quit after starting to smoke at such an early age makes it that much more difficult. It's very hard actually about 3% uh, of nicotine users um, actually quit um, cold turkey. So only 3%, that means out of 100 people that use nicotine, only 3 can quit without any help. If passed, the law would take effect in September. The state of Texas would be the eighth state to raise the legal smoking age to 21. In the studio with Complete Valley coverage, Sandra Garcia, CBS4 Valley at 5.